Hello student, welcome to Anu's classes. Today I'm going to discuss some most probable questions for the EVS for the year 2022, means which exam is going to be held on 18th of May. The EVS question paper will carry total marks 40 and I have find out some important questions from by analyzing the last 10 years question paper. So if you go through the questions of this video carefully, I'm sure that 90% will be you will get 90% common in your upcoming exam. And though this question, these questions are repeated many times in the exam, still within bracket, I have mentioned on the year when the question came in the last time. So in the first question, question number one, will all, you will get some questions which will carry one marks. For this, the important questions are first one is define, define biodiversity. This question was last came in 2021. Though in 2020 and 21, the first year exam was, was not conducted due to pandemic, still question paper was already set. And this came, this question was came in the year 2021. So answer is the variety of plants and animal life in the world or the particular habitat is called biodiversity. Second question, important questions for one more question is in which month of the year road safety week is observed? Ex answer is January. Since when was the national road safety policy adopted in India? Answer is 15-3-2010. Name a trace case of the atmosphere 2018. This question was also repeated many times, but last time this question was came in 2018. Answer is water vapor, carbon dioxide, etc. What is the name of the outer mantle or solid mantle of the earth? Means outer mantle or solid mantle is the same thing. So in question paper, one term may also come. Only solid mantle also come or outer mantle also come. Don't confuse. Means outer mantle or solid mantle is the same thing. And this was set in 2020 and 21 also. And answer is lithosphere. Which day is observed as World Environmental Day? Answer is 5th June. Write the full form of NDRF, National Disaster Response Force. Write the full form of ASDRF, Ascendant Resources Inc. Write the name of one national park and one biosphere reserve of Assam. National park example is Kajiranga National Park. Biosphere reserve is Dibrusoikwa National Park. What is the food web and food chain? Food chain is a linear sequence of organism which starts from producer organism and ends with the decomposer species. And food web is a connection of multiple food chain. Food chain follows a single path, whereas food web follows multiple pathways. Since here, lot, um, more than one food chains are involved. From the food chain, we get to know how organisms are connected with each other. Next question. Example of lotic and lantic aquatic system. So um, lotic example is river and lantic example is pond. Means lantic means and lotic one one example just I am giving. Next question number two. For question number two in EVS question paper, you will get questions which will carry two marks. So first one is greenhouse effect. It came in 2021. Greenhouse gases, it came set. This question was set in 2020. So since both 2020 and 21 exam was not conducted, that's why most probable chances that this question may come this year also. So greenhouse gases, it is a gas that absorbs and emits the radiant energy with its thermal infrared ranges causing the greenhouse effect. The primary greenhouse gases in our atmosphere are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and ozone. The greenhouse effect is a process that occurs when energy from planet sun goes through its atmosphere and warms the planet's surface, but the atmosphere prevents the heat from returning directly to the space, resulting in a warmer planet. Next question, mineral resources of Assam. Assam is endowed with petroleum, natural gases, coal, limestone, and many other minor mineral resources such as all in these are all I'm mentioning here. You can write only two of two, three also. And Assam is the pioneer state in the country as far as exploration and production of petroleum is concerned. Next important question is acid rain. Acid rain is rain or any other form of precipitation that is usually acidic, meaning that it has elevated levels of hydrogen ion. Most water, including drinking water, has a natural pH that exists between 6.5 to 8.5, but acid rain has a pH level lower than this and ranges from 4 to 5 on average. 
Acid rain is caused by a chemical reaction that begins when compounds like sulfur dioxide or nitrogen dioxide are released into the air. These substances can rise very high into the atmosphere where they mix and they react with water, oxygen, and other chemicals to form more acidic pollutant known as acid rain. Next important question for two marks question is global warming. Global warming is the long-term heating of Earth's climate symptom observed since the pre-industrial period between the 1850 to 1900 due to human activities, primarily fossil fuel burning, which increases heat trapping greenhouse gas level in the Earth's atmosphere. Humans are increasingly influencing the climate and the earth temperature by burning fossil fuels, cutting down forests, and forming liver stocks. This adds the enormous amount of greenhouse gases to those naturally occurring in the atmosphere, increasing the greenhouse effect and global warming. Next question is what is ecosystem? So an ecosystem consists of all the organisms and the physical environment with which they interact. This biotic and abiotic component are linked together through nutrient cycle and energy flows. Energy enters the system through the photosynthesis and is incorporated into plant tissue. Next question is the Wildlife Protection Act 1910. 72. The act provides for the protection of wild animal, birds, and plants, and for the matter connected there with or in, in incidental threat. The Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 provides for the protection of listed species of flora and fauna and created a network of ecologically important protected areas. The law consists of 66 sections and Six schedules, which are divided into eight chapters. Next, causes of threat to biodiversity. So this answer, this answer already I have uploaded in my previous video. Still, I'm giving the answer once again. So you go through the answers. So this question is also very important for this time because this is repeated many times and in 2021 also, but 21 exam was not conducted. That's why it, this time most probable answers that the question which was set in 2020 and 21 may come this year. So next question, distinguish between the following and always distinguish will carrying three marks. And for question number three, you will get this type of question, producer and consumer. So these are the difference between producer and consumer. The next is consumer and decomposer. So these are the, the uh, consumer must obtain the nutrient and energy by eating other organism, whereas decomposer break down the animals remain and waste to the get energy. So you can write the difference, sorry. You can write the difference like, um, just a minute, yeah. Difference like this wise also, or you can write the difference like this para wise also. Then this is the example of consumer and this is the example of decomposer. Next, lithosphere and hydrosphere. This came in 2021. So this is a lithosphere. Lithosphere is the solid rock from the crust and upper mantle where the hydrosphere is the water component of the art. This is the second difference. Lithosphere is simply the scientific name of the art crust. Hydrosphere is the sphere composed of all the water below and above the surface of the lithosphere. The lithosphere is solid outer part of the earth whose thickness ranges from 42 miles to 52 miles. The ranges may also come for one more question. The hydrosphere is the sphere composed of all water on, below, and above the surface of the lithosphere form. Next, renewable and non-renewable resources. So it is came in 2021. So most senses that this may come this year also. Just these are the differences. Next, biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes. So these are the differences. First, you, write, you have to write the definition. Then for second point, you have to write the examples. Next, road marking and zebra crossing. So these are the, what is zebra crossing? The zebra pattern consisting of equal space. White stripes, generally 500 meter wide, and they should be marked a warning sign to indicate that the pedestrian crosses the ahead should also be installed. Means with the, through the uh, zebra crossing, the human can walk, a zebra crossing can be used by human to cross the road and a road marking means it is the guide uh, it is a guideline for the to the traffic on a highway so these are the road marking these are the dif uh, differences next in situ and ex situ conservation in situ conservation means the conserving all the living species especially all the wild and endangered species in their natural habitat and the environment example is 
National Park Wildlife Sanctuaries, Ex to conservation means conservation of all the living species in the man-made or artificial habitat that are similar to their natural living habitat. Example is geological garden, seed bank, etc., gene bank, etc. The Lotic and Atlantic ecosystem for one mark difference. Uh, the example has came here. The, the differences has come. So the term Atlantic means what? Atlantic means the slow or motionless water. So example is pond. A Lotic means the water running waters. Therefore, the example is river. Answer the following question. Last question for EBS question but You will get some question which will carry five marks. So these are the what are the major causes of deforestation in Northeast India? So these are the answer. So this is the answer for the causes of deforestation in Northeast India. Next, write the role of students in disaster management. So basic rule of students is awareness of what to do during and after the disaster. Students by nature have a great deal of courage and stamina in collective senses. Their combined efforts are very helpful to the society in case of need. A disaster is a calamity which affects the society to a great extent. It needs united effort to overcome the disaster. Thus, disaster management is essential where youth play a vital role in tackling the situation as fast as possible. If the students are properly trained, they can rush to the disaster spot and can help the disaster management team for quick rehabilitation and resettlement of victims at times of floods, earthquakes, and drought, etc. They also can spread awareness to, to the precautions to be taken at the time of the disaster. Next question, describe the importance of health and hygiene. Health and hygiene are two essential concepts when it comes to the human body. Health refers to a state of physicality as well as a mental well-being. Health also encompasses the social well-being of an individual. Health is not just about being fit, but also having the appropriate resources to life. Having a sound body and mind is indication of good health. Hygiene refers to the maintaining good health through the practices that focus on the cleanliness. Good hygiene helps to prevent the spread of disease and illness. Hygiene and health go hand in hand. In today's world, where the population level are rising and numerous diseases emerging, good health and hygiene are a necessity. Next, causes of threat to biodiversity. The Poor threat to biodiversity on the planet is the combination of human population growth and the resources used by the population. The human population requires resources to survive and grow and those resources are being removed unsustainably from the environment. The three greatest proximate threats to biodiversity are habitat loss, overharvesting, and the induction of exotic species. The first two of these are the direct result of the human population growth and resource use. The third result for increasing mobility and trade. The fourth, a fourth major causes of extinction endopogenic means human caused climate changes has not yet had a large impact, but it is predicted to become significant during this century. Global climate change is also a consequence of human population needs for energy and the use of fossil fuel to meet those needs. So student, you please go through the questions carefully two, three times so that if question come from uh, this question paper, you can write properly. And I'm sure that if you go through all the questions carefully, almost 90% you will get common in your coming exam. So. If any doubt also, then you can comment me. And in my next video, I'm going to uh, upload some important, most probable questions for the biology questions for the coming exam. Okay. Then if you like my video, please share it and comment me also. Okay. Thank you.